Thank you for taking the time to listen to this tutorial about how to use some of the extra features on the SubAqua Pro water bath range. If you need any assistance after following this guide, please contact us. Details can be found on our website. The features we'll review are the overtemperature alarm, Used to quickly and conveniently set an overtemperature limit which will prevent samples from overheating. The countdown timer allows you to set a simple timer that sounds an alarm to alert you when an experiment is complete or needs to be checked. Temperature presets used to set commonly used working temperatures. Firstly, we'll look at the overtemperature alarm. The overtemperature alarm gives you a warning that the bath has gone above the temperature limit you've set to protect the samples from being overheated. If the water temperature reaches this limit, then the bath will sound an alarm and the heater will switch off to prevent the samples from overheating. You should pick a value just beneath the absolute maximum temperature you wish to never exceed. Also ensure that this value has enough margin from the actual working temperature you are using. Setting the overtemperature alarm very close to the normal working temperature can lead to unwanted operation of the overtemperature alarm due to the normal variations in the water temperature. Grant recommends this is ideally greater than 1 degree C. In our example, we set an overtemperature alarm to 40 degree C. Press the overtemperature alarm key. If this is the first time the alarm has been set, then the display will show off. Use the arrow key to select the overtemperature limit you would like to set. In our case, this is 40 degrees C. Press the overtemperature alarm key to save it. The alarm is now set and the bath will show the water temperature. If the overtemperature value is exceeded, the bath will stop heating and display OTA and an alarm will sound. You can stop the alarm by pressing set. Investigate why the overtemperature alarm has been triggered. The bath will continue to alarm while the temperature is above the overtemperature alarm limit. Either leave the bath to cool or replace the water until the temperature has dropped back to a suitable level. The bath will return to controlling at the set temperature. If you no longer require the overtemperature alarm, this is how you disable this feature. Press the overtemperature alarm key. The display will show the current overtemperature alarm value, 40 degrees C in this case. Use the down arrow keys to change the temperature down to 10 degrees C. Press the down arrow once more and the bath will display off. Press the over temperature alarm key to switch it off. The bath will immediately return to displaying the water temperature. Moving on to the countdown timer, you can set this to a value between 1 and 999 minutes. Choose the value you want, remembering that if the bath has just been switched on, the heat up time for the water will be included in the countdown timer period. Press set to get to the menu options on the display. Use up and down to get to the countdown menu, shown as CDT on the display. Press set again and if the timer has never been set, you will see the word off. Otherwise you will see the value it was last set to. Adjust to the time value you want. In our example, we use 10 minutes. Press set to start the timer. An extra dot on the display will show the timer is running. When the timer ends, an alarm will sound. You can silence the alarm by pressing set. The last feature we'll look at is temperature presets. If you regularly perform experiments at the same temperature, a preset can be used to quickly set the temperature. Press the preset you want. There are three numbered 1 to 3. Our example uses preset 1. The display will briefly show PR1, and then the current preset value, the default, is 10 degrees C. Use the arrow buttons to change the temperature to the one you want. Press the preset to save the value. To select and run a preset, press the preset number key you want and then press set. The bath will now heat to the temperature value. If you need additional help with any of these advanced features, the following contact details may be useful. 
Thank you for taking the time to listen to this tutorial. We hope you find your water bath a reliable and useful asset to your lab.